Hey, hey, Warrior Saints, Father Chris here, and welcome to the Way of the Warrior Saint Weekly, where we are striving to become strong Christian men by living a crucifixional life. Time is one of the most precious commodities that we have. It is a constantly escaping commodity that we are ever chasing, always chasing, trying to find better ways to manage, better ways to handle, and to have more of it. I know if you're like me, you want to have more time to spend with your family, with your friends, doing things that are fun, doing things that are healthy. But we feel so many uh, temptations and pulls and notifications on our phone and obligations and responsibilities that sometime, if you're like me, you feel like, oh my gosh, I don't have any time, certainly let alone to have enough time to do all of the things that we want and need to do. I know that for a long time, time has been my great struggle. fallacies that the world puts out there. Three things that the world is trying to trick us into believing about time. And the first one is that I have to. Like there's this, this sense of obligation, whether it comes from work or with family or with friends, that I have to do something. If somebody has made a request, if somebody has sent me a message, that I have to honor or I have to respond. Number two is that everything is important that everything matters, everything is of great value, and, and there's no sense of, of hierarchy in the, in the ranking of the things that we're exposed to, that everything is important, and I have to deal with all of the important things. And number three, I can do both, so that when we are presented with multiple options, I can make all of them happen, I can accomplish all of it. I can do everything. The problem with those three fallacies is exactly that. They're fallacies. They're not true. Instead, let us replace each of those three with the following three. Number one, I have to becomes I choose to. Number two, everything's important becomes very few things are important. And number three, I can do both becomes I can do anything, but I can't do everything. These three fallacies were exposed for me by a gentleman named Greg McKeon in his book, Essentialism. I absolutely, totally, highly recommend that you read Essentialism, not once, not twice, 10 times. I've read it to date in my own life 16 times. And each time I read it, it I get a little bit better at it. Read that book by, by McKeon. You'll see how he, he expands on those three uh, fallacies and those three fixes way better than I ever could. You know, if you're like me, you've struggled with time management. And for a long time, I just felt like I was running around like the proverbial chicken without his head. I was just trying everything I could, everything I could to just stay uh, above water, dog paddling, you know, in a, in a sinking ship type of thing. I only dog paddle. And I could never really catch up and I never really could make a difference. I could, I could put band-aids all over the place, but I never did anything amazing. Certainly never, th never did anything as amazing as the Warrior Saint movement. That being said, it hit me one day, especially after reading that book. You know what? I got, I got to focus on a few things. It's like, again, to quote McKeon, right now I'm making a millimeter of progress in a million different directions, which is simply to say what? I'm not making any progress. And so maybe I need to focus on just a few things, remove just a few things so that I can get myself going, making a really a positive contribution being crucifixional in my own life, putting aside things that I may want to do so that I can focus on things that I need to do and offering my, the, the best contribution I can to the world, giving everything I've got to the world. And I think it's important we understand that, look, time is short and there's a lot of chaos and a lot of evil in the world. And let's be candid, God is pretty serious about us using our time wisely. And so we come to the biblical point on the way of the warrior saint. In chapter 5 of Ephesians, the Apostle Paul says in verses 15 and 16, Look then how you walk. Pay attention to how you live your life. Do so not as unwise men, but as wise men. And listen, making the most of the time, for the days are evil. He's saying to us, like, look, don't be unwise. Don't be foolish. Don't listen to those three fallacies. Don't get uh, sucked into, I have to, everything matters, and I can do both. Instead, be wise and realize that you got to focus on a few things to be successful and take advantage of the time because your days are limited. 
The days are numbered, the days are short, and the days are evil. Make your time count. So if we know that God really takes our time seriously and wants us to use it wisely, making the highest contribution to the world that we can, how do we as warrior saints, as people striving to become strong Christian men, how do we manage our time so that we can do all of those things that God is asking us to do? That leads us to today's practical point on the way of the warrior saint. And the practical point, as always, is more than just one point. It's three points today. The first one is, and it's the most important, the word no. Number two, build a buffer. And number three is don't mess with your notifications until noon. To find out exactly how we, we implement those three practical points in our lives, what I want you to do is to go to warriorsaints.org. Visit us at our website, warriorsaints.org, and I want you to join the Way of the Warrior Saint weekly. Subscribe, it's great. Every week you get new, fresh content on topics like this and other topics that are relevant to our lives. It's so important. It matters so much to us that we want to share this with the world. We're giving the first month away for free. That's right, free, nothing. It's on us. All you need to do at checkout is use the promo code free month, all caps, free month. It's on us, and when we see you there, we'll be walking on the way of the warrior saint.